after you're done sanding and you've got, gone up to 600, it'll look quite shiny. You're going to take it off the tape. Make sure you, that you have sanded both sides of your project. Take it off your tape. Tape always looks really cool. Tear that off, throw it away. You're going to get a cloth, soft cloth. This is just a scrap from a t-shirt. And you're going to bring that cloth up to um, the station that has the Tripoli. Tripoli is a buffing compound. It's like wax with a little bit of grit. And it's going to take all of the fine lines from the sandpaper out and give your the surface an even shinier um, texture. So you're going to stretch your cloth out and it's like drawing crayon on, on cloth. So you stretch it out, give yourself a section where you just really draw it on. You're going to take your project, lay it on your cloth so that it's protected because both sides are, are pristine now. You're going to take your thumb behind the Tripoli and then you're going to push down and you're going to rub this compound over and over again until you can see almost like your reflection in it. You'll notice that the metal is starting to look darker. It's because the metal is now catching and reflecting things from around the room. You can even see your, your, um, your lines from the sandpaper and go against the green again. So if you ended up going vertically with 600, then you could actually go um, against the green with Tripoli and that way you'll, you'll really shine it up better. You'll be able to see any cloudy areas. Um, but you don't have to. You can get, kind of go in any direction at this point. After your Tripoli has been done, the next compound is called Red Rouge or Rouge. It's a polishing compound and it's going to be red. And if you've taken French class, you know that the, the word Rouge means red. So you're doing it the same way. You can use it the same cloth. You're applying it to the cloth, and this is a polish. So Tripoli is a buffing compound, buffs out the fine lines and scratches. Rouge, same thing, but it's going to add a protective gloss. It's going to make it a little bit shinier. So you want to get that. You want to get your edges with the compounds. Um, the shinier it is, the higher your score will be. So that is the finishing touches to making a key fob. Um, the last thing we do is we put a little ring called the jump ring in here so you can connect it to something, whether it be hanging from uh, like a mirror in your car or hanging from your keys or hanging from the zipper of your backpack. Um, it's just a neat, neat way to display your project. All right. Thank you.